Hello, and welcome back to another edition of PCHEM is Hard. Today we're going to be discussing extent of reaction. So, I've got my big sweater on, I've got my Swedish fish, it's time to do some chemistry. So, let's look at this problem we're given from section A of chapter 6 in Dr. Atkins' physical chemistry book. Consider the reaction A goes to 2B with initially 1.5 moles of A and no moles of B. What are the amounts of A and B when the extent of reaction is 0.6 moles? Let's change our little guy to a pin. Fantastic. Let's look at some important information real quick. Here is our formula. A goes to 2B. Our initial moles of A is 1.5 and we have zero initial moles of B. So we're going to look for the f moles of A and B when the extent of reaction is 0.6. So if you recall, we have a formula that says the moles of A equals the moles of A initial minus the stoichiometric coefficient and the extent of reaction. I'm just going to use the, uh, I'm going to write out the Greek thing, xi, because I'm not very good at doing the symbol. But it looks like a weird squiggly three. Um, note here that it is a minus for reactants. And a plus for products. And this makes sense because we're going to be adding products while we take away reactants. So as A goes to B, we're going to lose A and we're going to gain B. And that makes sense. So we can just put a little, we'll just, we'll just denote that. So given that we have 1.5 moles initially, we can go ahead and write 1.5. Now our coefficient for A is actually just 1, because we know that 1's right there. So we have 1, and then we have 0.6. So doing a little arithmetic, we know that at 0.6 moles of extent of reaction, we have 0.9 moles of A. We can do this same formula for B, but we need to remember that oop, this is a B initial. We are adding. Now the other thing to note here is that our stoichiometric coefficient for B is 2. So we're going to have 2 times 0.6. And I'm going to go ahead and change this guy. Excuse me one second while I highlight. And delete. This initial is 0 because they tell us here that we have no B. So, as you can see, 2 times 0.6 is 1.2 moles, and this is of B. Note that N, most of the time, denotes moles. So oh, that is how we figure this out. It's kind of like saying that after 0.6 moles have reacted, how much A do we have and how much B do we have? So I hope this has helped. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, you are, feel free to put them in the section below or hit me up at, on uh, this channel, and I'll do my very best to help you out. Thank you so much. Have a great day.